Hello guys, I'm Dr. Munir Jan, Assistant Professor of Anesthesia and Intensive Care, King Khalid University. Today, uh, I will be talking about nasal cannula. What are the advantages? We will be discussing about what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, and uh, why you can use this nasal cannula, and of course, how it works. Now, starting with the overview, nasal cannula these are the variable performance devices why this variable performance devices because you cannot predict how much percentage of oxygen you are going to deliver to the patient so it varies depending upon the respiratory rate of the patient and other factors also uh, now where we can use this it is an alternative to an oxygen mask in those requiring low level supplemental oxygen so if a patient requires low oxygen, uh, patient requires a very less percentage of oxygen, you can use this nasal cannula in that situation. Now, how it works? So, as the tubing is looped around the patient's ear and the prongs inserted into the nose. Now, gas flows uh, typically at the rate of 1 to 4 liter per minute and uh, because if you lead uh, if you increase the liters of oxygen more than four it can lead to the drying of nasal mucosa and it uh, that that will be very discomfortable for the patient and uh, it can lead to epistaxis and impaired mucosillary clearance also now during the use nasopharynx acts as a reservoir okay so it acts as a reservoir oxygen reservoir even if the patient is breathing through the mouth oxygen will be entrained through the nasopharynx and majority of studies have shown that mouth breathing results in either the same inspired oxygen concentration or higher concentration so it doesn't uh, i mean uh, the effect is like if the patient is breathing through the through the nose or if the patient is breathing through the mouth so the percentage of oxygen will be either same or it will be on the higher side now what are the advantages advantage is simple it's a very simple uh, i mean instrument um, it is very cheap also patient can speak eat and drink so uh, you can uh, it's it's a very comfortable patients and it has a very good uh, uh, the thing that is more comfortable has a very good compliance so disadvantages as I said as I discussed it has a variable performance device it's a variable performance device you cannot predict how much percentage of oxygen you are going to deliver maximum amount of oxygen percentage of oxygen that can be delivered it is 40 percent okay so uh, and you cannot increase the liters more than four otherwise it can lead to discomfort as I said so uh, disadvantage as I said it's a variable uh, you have a performance device and uh, you cannot predict how much FiO2 is delivered to the patient and it can lead to as I said it can lead to the drying of mucosa and uh, that limits uh, FiO2 unless humidified gas is supplied that is used in high flow high this nasal high flows so this was all about nasal cannula i hope this video uh, you will like this um, this slide presentation and uh, for more updates please subscribe to my channel and if you like please press the like button and uh, if you want more uh, updates uh, regarding my uh, next videos please press the bell icon thank you very much